Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture. We're looking at pelvis x-rays. This time this is an x-ray of hemi pelvis and we're looking at the important lines and uh, structures in this x-ray. So the first one is this iliac crest on top of the hemi pelvis um, to the top of the iliac bone. That's, that's your iliac crest as you can see in here. So um, that, that's how you should start identifying these uh, structures. Start from the top and then go in a sequence. Then as you go below and so this is basically the posterior part of the iliac um, spine so it's called a posterior superior iliac spine so the name is self-explanatory so you can see the posterior superior iliac spine it's at the back it's at the top and it's at the posteriorly okay and this is part of this all ilium bone this is uh, also sometimes referred to as the iliac blade so this is the ilium bone okay this is the main front and the top parts of the ilium and the small hole in here um, you can see are the anterior sacral foramens okay so these holes tiny holes is basically where the sacrum is and these are the anterior sacral foramina okay it's a multiple number so that is why it's foramina if it's one it'll be foramen okay now um, you can see this joint here so this is a sacroiliac joint so as a sacrum um, meets the ilium bone it forms a joint so this is a sacroiliac joint so SI joint they're two in number one on the left and one on the right but this is the hemi pelvis or half the pelvis so it's symmetrical and same on the other side and these lines here are the arcuate lines these are kind of similar to the glular lines in the hand so these are the arcuate lines of the sacrum okay so um, this is all around ilium and sacrum and the top part of this hemi pelvis so uh, remember uh, these things so as we go down on the bottom and the front just like the posterior superior iliac spine we have the asis or the anterior superior iliac spine okay now if you have an anterior superior there is a corresponding anterior inferior uh, iliac spine so that's anterior inferior iliac spine just below the anterior superior iliac spine so um, that's uh, something you should always remember then this small um, bony protrusion here which sometimes is not recognized properly is your ischial okay so it's your ischial spine so we have seen anterior superior iliac spine so this is the iliac uh, ischial spine so just like corresponding to the iliac spine this is the basically the ischial, uh, ischial spine and as you come down from ilium to ischium to pubis the first thing that you see here is a superior pubic rami and just below it will be the inferior pubic rami so this is superior and the inferior pubic rami the one that's being marked here is the superior pubic rami and in between the two you can see this is the obturator foramen of is obturator foramen and as i said before this is the inferior pubic rami so just below the superior is the inferior pubic rami so this is something that should uh, learn uh, properly this is very important for any of uh, your exams entrance exams or orthopedic or radiology exams okay so uh, the lowermost point on this hemi pelvis here on the medial side on the inside of the ischial tuberosity okay so uh, that's something very important to identify a lot of muscles and other structures originate from the ischial tuberosity uh -huh. So ischial tuberosity is something very important and we should remember by heart where the ischial tuberosity is. And um, if you look at the most medial point, as you could see on our x-rays of and video lecture of uh, of the pelvis, so this is the pubic symphysis. Okay, this yellowish mark on the most middle side is the pubic um, symphysis or symphysis pubis as we call it. Okay. So uh, that's most of the medial side and the top part of this hemi pelvis covered. Now we're going to um, shortly look at other parts and what are the other structures of uh, this hemi pelvis. Now, important thing to remember here is how to identify different parts of the femur and different parts of the establum. Okay, so let's start with the femur at the bottom. So this is the femur or the femoral shaft. So uh, the main shaft is the femoral shaft, okay? And then as we go um, up, we can see here the lesser trochanter of the femur. So this is a lesser trochanter. So this is inside towards the pelvis or the medial side. That's a lesser trochanter. Now, if you have a lesser trochanter, think of it, you should have a greater trochanter. So this is the greater trochanter. 
So corresponding to the lesser trochanter, we have the greater trochanter. Okay, um, lesser is small, greater is big. So that's basically why they are called lesser and greater. So the greater is on the outside and the top part of the femur. Um, so that's the greater trochanter, and the lesser is on the inside, the smaller part. Uh, so that's that's why it's called lesser trochanter. Now, as you go up, you can see this area above the trochanter region. So that's the neck. It looks like the neck. So that's the neck of the femur. Uh, then next just next to the neck of the femur uh, the most important part that should recognize is the uh, in, in the head of the femur the head of the femur is uh, the topmost part the round portion of the femur which articulates the stablum to form your hip joint okay so that is why it's very important to know where the hip joint is uh, so this line here is basically marking your establum and your hip joint okay so that's your establum um, that's primarily the roof of the establum there are multiple parts of the establum as you may be able to see in our previous video but this is the main establum marking in the establer roof that you should be aware about okay and this is uh, the fovea which is a central part of uh, the establum uh, where ligamentum teres attaches so that's a fovea centralis just in the center okay so that's something uh, very very important that you should know about okay, that's the fovea centralis okay. now, these are the main parts of the hemipelvis and should be uh, aware of uh, all of these structures thoroughly okay then uh, this is the teardrop or the caucus teardrop as we call it some minor uh, structures in the end that we should aware about even if you don't know about these things that's fine and if you can recognize there's a fat shadow here so this is called a psoas fat pad so that's that's the middle side shadow uh, fat of the psoas muscle is called a psoas fat pad and then in between the trochanters is intertrochanteric line or this is also known as the intertrochanteric crest okay so that's basically a line between the two trochanters so um, greater trochanter and lesser trochanter that is why it's called the intertrochanteric line okay so these are the main part of the hemipelvis you should know then you should also know about the gluteal fat pad line here